Hi everyone, Ada here, and today we're going to build a PC. Now, as you all know, uh, Be Quiet recently launched their brand new RGB fans that I have right here, and they reached out to me and they sent a few things over so I can make a nice RGB build. So from Be Quiet, I have the PureBase 500DX case, I have a 240 millimeter uh, water cooler, 750 watt power supply, and a bunch of new fans. And I also wanted to make a full AMD build. So I have the ASUS X570 Dark Hero board right there. I have the Ryzen 9 5950X and a 6900XT graphics card. So without further ado, let's build this PC. Let's install Windows 11 on it. Let's see how it performs and what can it do in a couple of games. Let's go. So the PureBase 500DX uh, is alone a bit of a step in another direction for Be Quiet. Most of their older cases focused on being closed with sound dampening, while this case has a mesh front instead and it has RGB strips built into it. I have the white version here, but there is also a black one if you prefer. And because there are already a ton of reviews of this case out there, I'm not gonna go into everything, but I do think it's a very nice and a very well-built case, and it will cost you around 95 euros here in the Netherlands. It also comes with three black fans, which is great, but I will be taking those out and replacing them with the new RGB ones. So I have three regular 140 millimeter fans that will go on the front and the rear of the case, but I also have two high speed 120 millimeter ones that will go on the water cooler. So you can buy these separately or you can get them as a three pack with a hub included. Now, as you can see, I don't have the RGB controller here, but since you can daisy chain the RGB connectors, you don't really need a hub. You can just use your motherboard to control the RGB. And that is exactly the reason I went with the ASUS board. I really don't have a good experience with Gigabyte's uh, RGB software. ASRock software is even worse and most of the time it doesn't work at all. And MSI is mostly okay, but not all the time. So ASUS software is simply the best of the four. That being said, I wanna say that all RGB software is bad, but we're just gonna go with the lesser evil of the four. So for the CPU, I went with the Ryzen 9 5950X as I mentioned before, because this is currently the best AMD CPU you can get. It also doesn't run that hot, which is great, because if I went with the Intel 12900K, uh, it would definitely require a big 360 millimeter cooler, while this Ryzen should be completely fine with this pretty affordable Pure Loop 240. For the RAM, I have the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro SL modules, and for the storage, I went with a 2TB Fire CUDA NVMe SSD. And then we have the 6900XT, which is the best GPU that AMD has to offer, and it's also one of the most powerful GPUs on the market. Now, the reference model does run really hot, so I would say this is going to be a challenge for this case and the new fans. And for the power supply, I have the Pure Power 750 watt model. Now, 750 watts should be plenty for this set of components. And again, like the case and the cooler, this is one of Be Quiet's cheaper series. So this power supply will cost you around 90 euros here in the Netherlands, which is pretty cheap considering that PSU prices have gone up quite a bit. And it's alive! Although before I managed to install Windows, it actually crashed with a CPU temperature error. So yeah, um, don't forget to remove the plastic sticker from your CPU cooler. And now that the system is working properly, uh, let's see how it actually performs. I have a fast 4K monitor right here, and this system should run games in a 4K resolution just fine. So I tested a couple, uh, both in 4K and 1440p. Let's see what it does. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, on high settings, I was getting 107 FPS average on a 4K resolution and 194 FPS average on 1440p, which looks completely all right to me. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is still one of my favorite games this year, I ended up with a 79 FPS average on 4K resolution and 136 FPS on 1440p. I was playing on high settings here. And in the latest Call of Duty Vanguard, uh, this time on ultra settings and in the campaign, I had 84 FPS on 4K and 145 FPS on 1440p. So I would say those are good frame rates on both 
both resolutions. Now, thermals look good while gaming as well. Uh, the CPU averaged around 65 degrees Celsius and the GPU at 77 degrees Celsius, which is perfectly fine, especially for a reference 6900 XT. Now, I did set the fans to run at just under 40 decibels, which I think is a reasonable maximum noise level for me, uh, but you could easily run them a bit faster or a bit slower, depending on your own noise and thermal preferences. And finally, I also did a stress test using IDA64. And here, the CPU averaged at around 70 degrees Celsius after 30 minutes, with the GPU standing at 75 degrees Celsius. Now, the GPU hotspot did get pretty hot at 95 degrees Celsius, but this same GPU had a 98 degree hotspot on an open test bench, so 95 in a case isn't that bad at all. Now that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this um, lighter format of a video. It was definitely fun making it. Now I wish you all a wonderful new year and all the best in 2022 and see you in the next video. Bye guys!